Hey friends, so I was looking at my YouTube Creators app here and I noticed yesterday this happened, but I wanted to wait 24 hours just in case, but we have breached 3,000 subscribers. So how awesome is that for a little nerdy channel, right? So I've got my cup of coffee and we'll sit down to the laptop and we'll do a little chat and tell you what's been going on. Some of it's been kind of fun, some is a little creepy. Stay tuned. Well, welcome back, guys. Um, my name is Paul. This is where nerdy is cool. If this is your first time catching me, hit the subscribe button. Hang out. You'll, I think you're going to like the videos I have. If you are already a subscriber, I welcome you back. So, as I mentioned at the start, yeah, we have just surpassed 3,000 subscribers. I wanted to wait 24 hours because that number always goes up and down a little bit. But uh, as of now, <laughs> it's like 3,002. So I think that's awesome. Um, I'm not a big channel, I'm not a teeny tiny channel, but I'm having fun doing this. One of the frequent questions I get from you guys has been, where's the videos? You haven't done anything in a while. And I'm not one to chase the metrics. There's a lot of big YouTubers out there that generate a lot of videos because they're chasing the metrics. They want to make sure they're meeting certain goals. Uh, and of course, so for a lot of that is because you know they're monetized and they want to make money. And I'm monetized and I don't make a whole lot. I mean, enough to cover the filament budget, but uh, I just feel like making videos when I have something fun to share with you guys. I just don't want to fill up, you know, uh, you know, a 10, 12, 15 minute video that's basically blah, 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 and not very entertaining. So that's why I've been quiet. Now, the other thing is I've been doing some spring cleaning. And as you can see from the pan around I'm going to show you here, uh, I hadn't done a thorough cleaning of this basement probably in six years. And uh, the cats and having the litter boxes downstairs and you know, all the dust and stuff like that. It was sorely needed. So the FT6 is off the workbench. It has its own happy spot. The FT5 and the i3 Mega also have their own little happy spots. Basically that side is the Fulger Tech 3D printer row over there. The baker's racks that I have full of filament and I have to do some more reorganizing over there but the floors have been scrubbed and washed and everything's looking really good and I've taken the opportunity like most of you guys during spring cleaning to get rid of some junk that's accumulated over the years. So that's what I've been doing. Now the other things I've been doing is I've been playing with the FT6, I've been uh, doing some uh, work on the FT5. The CR10S, we got that e, the Aero Evolve uh, upgrade, uh, completed it on that. So there's still a lot of 3D printing fun going on over here. And now that things are cleaned up and reorganizing, it's time to go hit it some more. Now, one of the things I was noticing while cleaning is I have this creepy doll. The previous owner of this house, the basement was her hobby room. And frankly, she had so many plastic flowers. I just, I, I don't understand it. but. That's what older people do, I guess. So the creepy doll that is sealed up in the glass, um, I suspect is, um, I don't want to, <laughs> I, I think it's haunted. There's some stuff that goes on down here that I can't explain. Uh, there are chairs that are moved and there are certain things I can blame on cats and there are certain things that I've caught on video that, yeah. Uh, so don't, don't nominate me for the travel channel. Don't send over the ghost adventure bunch because they're just a bunch of Herculean guys that scream like little girls anyway. But yeah, there's something up with that thing and uh, I'm hoping they can come and get it. <laughs> so what else have I been up to? Well, I will tell you that I am thoroughly into DCS World. You may have seen a couple of my videos here on the channel that cover DCS World. It's a tutorial or two on there. And I had the opportunity to get an Oculus Rift from a friend of mine who wasn't using his. And I wasn't sure about the whole VR thing. You know, I've seen the videos. I've seen how it's, the head movement is really cool, but it's very hard to translate how amazing and how immersive the VR experience is uh, on a regular screen if it's being captured through VR because you just, it's, it's like describing to someone, you know, how it feels to ride a motorcycle. You know, the whole, you know, the wind going through you and, and by you and what have you. It just, it's, it's so hard. But I can tell you over the last couple of weeks, uh, I've gotten really good with that thing. I got my computer tuned really well to it. Uh, I currently have a couple of the uh, modules like the uh, Harrier. I have the uh, F5 and uh, if you have flaming cliffs, you already have a bunch of airplanes to select from. And 
All I can say is that if you are a flight sim nut, if you love the air combat flight sims, and you've been looking for something that's multiplayer and works super well, that is the way to go. Uh, several of my friends from the YouTube channel uh, have been participating with me on a couple of the flights. Uh, we've been doing things like aerial refueling and some other complicated tasks that are just wow. So I don't know if I can say amazing, wow, and whoa, you know, enough, but uh, I'm just going to say that I am totally hooked on that game. I love it. I probably play, you know, three or four evenings a week, and uh, that game it definitely has me hooked. The other thing I did is I upgraded the 3 dprintingforumus uh, That is our bulletin board. And I know a lot of people uh, prefer bulletin boards to Facebook groups for answers. And uh, I had to do an upgrade. You know, I was several versions behind. And of course, with anything on a web server, you want to be up to date. And I also changed the way it looks and feels. So I wanted to invite you guys to go ahead and check it out. I've been trying to find a style or a theme that looks very good on a phone, on a tablet, or you know, on your laptop or, or PC. So I'm trying to make a clean theme uh, that looks good across all those platforms. And you can never please everybody. I already, I already have a couple guys that want it back the old way, and then I got a bunch of other people that say this is so much better. So, you know, it's like, a, like anything else in life, right? So be sure to check that out. And uh, there's a bunch of threads in there. Like I said, I started that out as an alternate Ultimaker site. Boy, that was probably about six years ago. And uh, when Ultimaker fixed their site, a lot of that traffic left and went back, but there's still a lot of great information about 3D printing, using filaments, you know, uh, how do you simplify 3D, Cura, Octoprint, you name it, it's in there. So I welcome you to go in there, browse around, and if you have questions, post away. We'd love to have you. If you're wondering what's next video-wise, I got a couple of things cooking up. I have some uh, new filaments that showed up. I got some new Matte Forge filament. I want to, uh, there is a website that shows how you can make a 3D printable violin, and I have a friend that plays the violin. So uh, I'm going to print that guy up, and uh, I would like to have her try that out and let me know how well it really works. And I have some other things going on with the FT6. I still want to do a few more videos on that, how to finish it up. There's also a new uh, motherboard available for those. A lot of guys are using SKR uh, 1.2, uh, maybe it's 1.3 now, but it's a 32-bit motherboard versus the MKS boards. So there's a, as always with 3D printing, things are always moving. Just when you think you have the latest and greatest installed, something new shows up. The TiVo Tornado is on my radar. I definitely want to get that guy up and running. Uh, it didn't run very long for me because when I was trying to do some uh, work with the uh, bed, I shattered the glass. Fortunately, no harm was done to me, but uh, it's been kind of uh, sitting there and uh, I know that uh, there's a lot of uh, good information out there about replacing the board, replacing the drivers, replacing the power supply, SSR, basically replacing everything except the core functions of the printer. So that should be fun. I'm looking forward to that. So one thing I'm hoping you guys may have noticed over the last couple of months is that there's been a significant weight drop here. Uh, since February of 18, I noticed that I'm way too heavy. I, I stepped on the scales and I saw 220 and I was like, no, that's, that's, that's too much for me. So I did a lot of research, altered my diet, uh, and did a lot of work at the gym, worked with trainers, and basically did a lot of research trying to figure out what would work for me. And for me, I won't bore you with all the details, but like I said, keto worked very well for me. I know that's controversial, but it worked for me. And for the last two months, I have been at 180 pounds, give or take 179, 181. I kind of bounced around there a little bit. So I don't have the six pack abs. I certainly don't have the buns of steel. Oh. I'm sorry, ladies. And I certainly don't have Thor's locks of hair. So, but I'm working on me, I'm having fun, and I'm learning quite a bit. And I have a great gym family that encourages me as well too. So uh, I'm hoping that's something that you may have noticed is that, hey, maybe that guy's getting a little skinny. But if not, that's okay too. Uh, one comment I get from a lot of people is you guys always ask, hey, how come you don't have an Ender 3? Hey, how come you don't have this hot end? Hey, can you do a video on this? Well, I have a limited budget, but if you like what I'm doing and you want to help my channel out and you want to help me out, there are two ways you can do so. There is a link in the description below for the PayPal donation link. If you want to throw me a couple of bucks, uh, a couple of bucks on that, I would appreciate that. And there's also patreon.com forward slash where nerdy is cool. And uh, those are the two ways that you can help me out. And as you guys, uh, if you have followed me for any duration of time, you guys have realized that any donations I receive directly help the channel. That camera you guys are looking at me, 
That is a uh, major upgrade we made last year thanks to the donations we received from our viewers and also made the investment in a new microphone here recently for our live streams and uh, some other webcams here for some of our uh, tutorials we do so we have multiple cameras going when we do them. So thank you very much and that is how you can help me and my channel. Okay, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you decided to check out the web forums, 3dprintingform.us. And I'm working on a bunch of stuff, as I mentioned in the last video, and it will be airing here shortly. So thanks for watching, and remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Stay nerdy.